Welcome to linuxhelp.com. For today's topic, I will show you how to configure net data monitoring with Slack Alarm. Net data is a monitoring, visualization, and troubleshooting solution for system, containers, and application. It collects everything, visualizes metrics, troubleshoot complex performance problems. For connecting net data to your Slack channel, you must create a webbook interface which can be used by net data to send the actual messages. So now let's proceed with the following process of net data monitoring with Slack. I have already installed net data on my system. In previous video, I had shown you how you can create alert in net data for CPU and RAM load and how you can create your own health entity. So now, So from now on, I am going to show you how you can enable Slack notification for net data monitoring. First and foremost, for net data monitoring using Slack, you will need to log in your slack.com workspace. Sign into Slack. Here you can provide your email ID. After giving your email ID, it will send some six character code to email ID. You have to provide that. Now, this is the workspace. You can create another workspace. Create a workspace. Provide name. What's the name of your company or team? I am providing testing. You can skip this step. Let's go. After creating your Slack login, now go to the webhook location. Now open your webhook. There is the link for webhook. Now I'm going to add to Slack. It is connected. Choose a channel. I had created the testers channel. Now I'm assigning to him. This is the webhook URL. Now this is the your webhook URL which you have to mention in your net data health alarm system file. So I'm copying it. Now move to the terminal. After copying webhook URL, go to the net data health alarm system file. I am using Vim editor slash etc slash net data. It will show net data, yes. Move to that location. You will see this section is for the enabling or disabling Slack notifications. Here send Slack is equals to yes. Now here you have to mention webhook URL. Slack webhook URL. Go to insert mode. Now go to the default recipient Slack. This is the recipient name. Maybe your channel. You can define multiple recipient here. Your channel name is testing. Now write and quit. Now after configuring all these things, I'm going to reload the net data to reflect the changes. Now I'm moving to the net data directory. C 
cd move that data here we find health.d file here there is a cpu.conf file i am going to that file i am opening that with using the vim command you will see here all the alarm details i lower all these uh, warn and critical alarms ranges to very below so that it can trigger an alarm very easily so for the cpu users and for the cpu input output weight i lower all these things okay right and quit now i'm going to open my net data dashboard getting reloaded the cpu uses is 5.1 percent and the ram uses is 43.1 percent so now i will go to my slack account Here is my Slack account and the channel I have created from there, add channel, create a new channel and you can create a new channel from here. The same method I created is channel test to test the net data alerts. Now I'm going to my terminal. Now I'm going to use some command to test the net data alert is getting to the Slack. It will send some dummy alerts to the net data slack configuration. You will see in the slack account. Now I'm going to my slack login. It will receive this is a test alarm to verify notification work. It means that the net data sending the alerts and it is and it is received by the slack login to receive the alerts. From the CPU load and the RAM load from the net data monitoring tool, I am going to lower all the ranges so it can easily trigger the alarms. So I am moving into the RAM.conf file. Here, warning and critical alerts are showing to 40 to 60 in range. So I am going to lower it using 20 for the warning message and 40 for the critical message right and quit after that we have to reload the service to reflect the changes now i'm going to my net data dashboard reload it you will see here System.ram is showing the critical alarm. Now I'm going to my Slack login. Now you can see the net data sends the alarm, the percentage of RAM being used by the system. Hence, from this method, we can say that we can uh, configure the Slack in the net data alarm for the CPU and RAM load. Hence, this is the method to configure Slack in net data CPU load alarms. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial, please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.